Thank you all so much for coming. This is fabulous having the gallery full with people. I hope it, from now on it will be always like that on uh, Thursday before this Friday. Welcome to the um, CAC. And um, I just want to talk a little bit about the CAC and I, then I want to introduce um, Shana to you all who did a wonderful talk. She's just right over there. <laughs> I just wanted to mention a few things um, with CC. Um, some of you might remember you were here in um, fall last year when Kathy Ward had to show you the video installation. And I can be, I can show you that I would, can be very proud that we actually, the CAC got a write up in South America. So you all have to buy out in America. <laughs>
you know, what it means to be not New York, right? And it's sort of like, you're not New York, does, and then it's sort of like New York and everyone else. And what I loved about becoming part of the Los Angeles scene over the last 15 years is really understanding that not only was it as dynamic and important and eclectic as New York ever wanted to be, but also the value of it being different. It, it, you know, this idea that an art center doesn't have to emerge in comparison to other art centers, that it can be its own thing, its own focus, its own nexus, and it can have its own vernacular and way of approaching art and its own combination of a local scene and a, and a st stunning university department out in the end and, 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 a, and a, a history of a vernacular tradition and the kinds of things that are painted and the kind of materials that are used. And so I, what I really appreciated about coming out here was that I, when I came out here, I had no idea what to expect, really nothing. It was like a blank slate. And well, I feel like I learned a lot about contemporary art in America from what I witnessed here. And I, so that's the first thing. Like, I feel like whatever, I hope you guys enjoy the show, but it's sort of like already this amazing thing for me because already a month ago, I feel like a better art critic because of what I saw here and what, what I learned about what's going on here. And I'm, I'm, you don't need me to tell you because you all live here and do this every day. But this is an amazing place to make and show and see visual art. And I'm so, I was so blown away. And then to have 190 submissions, I gather, was a huge leap from what had happened here before. So one thing that I want to say about what's in and what's out is there was, as Beata alluded to, space became a factor at a certain point. So it was sort of like in and out doesn't mean good and bad. It meant I want to put as much art that speaks to us as I can in this room. But there are walls with measurements. I mean, there's only so much art to fit on the wall. So maybe some of the early calling might have been easier or whatever, but as it got, it, it became very tough, very quick. And it wound up being this competitive situation. It wound up being a, a competition for wall space, essentially. And so you know, it very quickly became something heartbreaking of what could stay and what could go. And what wound up happening is within certain genres, people came into competition with each other. So I called this out in the statement that I wrote. There's a painting over there that had to do with desert landscapes, which you can't go to a desert city and not appreciate the tradition of desert landscape painting. But what wound up happening was I'd say, okay, there's five people say to work in that idiom. I've got this much wall space. I want that genre represented. So those people came into competition with each other. And the same thing would happen with abstract expressionism or vernacular photography or whatever it is. And uh, what I really came to appreciate was I appreciated how difficult it was for me to do this. Right? Like, you, like everyone that submitted made it really hard for us, which is a compliment, okay? <laughs> So that's what I want to say, and there's more general statements that I emailed that are on the that are on the thing. And nobody wants to hear anything that I have to say except you want, right? So Okay, so this is how we decided to do it. But I don't know. So this is what I decided to do. When we were we were talking about it, there were gonna always be the free top prizes, that's a financial thing, that's a CAC thing. And what we decided to do with the honorable mention was pick seven that were not in any order of priority, so they'd be kind of like a top 10. And so there's seven that are, you know, all great, and then there's the sort of three, two, one, for the awards, right? So that's how we did it. And um, I'm, I'm gonna just kind of like go through it and hassle everyone by moving randomly from piece to piece and just point out a few remarks about what made it into the top 10. 